Mike with Hunt Fish Shoot. Today we're bringing you guys a little bit more of a budget friendly option that you can get. But uh, again, it's an awesome gun. It's the Walther Creed. So if you guys like what you see today, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. The Walther Creed has tons of awesome features on it. It does have front and rear cocking serrations. It uses a standard three dot type sighting system on it. And then it has a, a neat grip angle that really, it, it does feel really good in your hands. Um, this gun is not the most aesthetically pleasing gun on the market by any means, but for a mere price of $350, you can get an excellent option for home defense or just any kind of self-defense situation. It does have a Picatinny rail on the front, so you can round, mount a light or laser on there if you want. I'm not a huge fan of lasers myself, but it's perfect for mounting that light on there. Um, on here, you're gonna see it does have a takedown lever on it, your standard, slide release, slide stop. We're not gonna argue about what we're gonna call that, but it does got that there on the side for you. It's not ambidextrous for that. Um, the this, this, uh, mag release on here, you can actually take it and flip it around if you want, so you could use it as a lefty. Um, but the takedown system on this, I praise Walther for doing it because so many of them, you have to pull the trigger nowadays. And if you're somebody that's in the market for a handgun and you're not wanting to pay a whole lot, chances are you don't have tons of experience. and you need to start with something that's good for safety features. So with this, it's nice because you just lock the slide back, flip your takedown lever on here, and then release the slide and take the gun down. Um, no trigger pulling whatsoever on this firearm. It's, it's simple. SIG uses a system like this. They always have, and that's one of the things I like most about SIG is their takedown system. So very easily done. Um, the fit and finish from this Walther for being a $350 gun is very, very good. Uh, it's better than the, the Smith & Wesson STVE. Um, the trigger on it is not probably its finer point. It has an exposed type hammer on a gun that's similar to like a striker fire gun. Um, but the trigger isn't terrible. Uh, it's, it's not real heavy. It's just kind of mushy. Mushy and there's no real like legitimate back wall. Kind of just <laughs> goes all the way back. To where you're at and then it, it just breaks there's not a real hard firm set that you're going to get on there um, so that's probably a downfall to it but again uh, on a gun that's 350 bucks it's got about everything you're asking for it does come with two 16 round magazines from walther they're of good quality nice steel magazines um, walther and these are made in italy so chances are probably by metgar but they seem like good quality magazines and i do like them as far as that goes um, so I am going to shoot this gun today. I'll give you guys some thoughts of it. I want to see how it shoots accurately wise. Uh, I have had some Walthers in the past. I've always shot really well. Um, I carried a Walther PPS on my ankle for a really long time before I got issued a 365 to carry on my ankle. So I think they make good guns. I've never been let down by them. Uh, I'm going to shoot this quite a bit today. We'll see how it does as far as reliability. Uh, because if it's a gun that you're going to use for self-defense or personal defense, home defense, whatever it would be, it needs to be reliable. But overall, the, the grip on it and everything like that just leads to be, you know, held easily and you get some good control on it. So let's see how it shoots today. Let's see how this thing shoots. One thing I can't say for sure is this trigger is, well, it's bad. It's not very good. It's, it's got nearly like no reset. It does. It's just really, really far out there. I mean, you gotta come almost all the way back to where you start pulling through to start with. A lot of that is, hmm. Well, that was my own doing there. I expected the trigger to go bang a little sooner than what it did, but that's, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm not gonna complain about it. So the trigger though is pretty, pretty darn bad. I, I flat out hate the darn thing. But that's all right. Uh, it's it is not better than an M&P, which you guys have heard me criticize in the past. But not too terribly bad. So shooting a little high on me there. Um, not terrible though. Um, I'm not upset with it. I'm gonna have to shoot it some more though, really get a good feel for it. The trigger on this gun makes it very, very hard to really get good repeatable shots and good sight pictures and things like that. And yeah, you could practice it till the cows come home, but still at the end of the day, the, the trigger on it is pretty bad. Um, it, it makes it really tough to get a good, it's not very consistent. And that's probably the biggest downfall of this pistol that I see right now, because outside of that, the mag, the mag wall on it isn't bad. Um, 
That's probably would be my first option out of those cutouts, but at least with those cutouts on the mag there, they have it to where you can actually strip the mag if you have to, but they do fall nice and free. So I do like that a lot. And the grip feels good. It, the recoil management isn't bad on it. A little bit of a high bore axis itself, but let's shoot some more rounds down range and shoot it one handed and show you guys some more how it shoots. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it a whole lot. Um, obviously I could see it because it was happening to me. Really weak ejection on nearly every single one of those rounds while I was shooting it one-handed. And I don't know whether this gun would be subjective to limp wristing it. People used to always say that Glocks would do it. They, I've never had one do it, and I've tried to make them do it. This gun, I think I could probably get this gun to malfunction by limp wristing it. Uh, that's probably from shooting the one-handed. I know that the ejection was very, very weak shooting it one-handed, which is bad in itself because if you're in a stressful situation you don't got a good grip on the gun and you just start popping rounds off to to get rounds down range you might get a malfunction so that's not necessarily one of the best things um, other than that it shoots pretty good it's pretty accurate for the most part um, so you've seen me shoot a 320 the 509 all those are, are far more accurate granted they're gonna be they're more expensive but so overall my thoughts aren't terrible this gun's not bad uh, it's a good option I think for the price range that it falls into is it the best gun on the market that you could get for self-defense? No, you should probably spend a couple hundred more, maybe get a Glock or a 320 or your Smith & Wesson. All three of those are very, very well known, have a really good reputation. Walther makes really, really darn good pistols, um, and especially with their, their PPQ, uh, their PPQ M2, all the newer ones they have out there, their Q5 match, those are all really darn good shooting guns. And really, this thing shoots good. It's just I noticed they had a weak ejection, so I'm going to shoot a few more out of it, and I'm going to see if I can make a malfunction by limp wristing it. Well, no problems there, so that's that's a plus. Uh, I thought for sure I'd be able to make this gun malfunction doing that. So since that's not the case, I'm gonna burn through a 16 round mag here about as fast as I can let it rip with this gun. So let's see what happens. Hmm, not bad. So I am impressed. Uh, again, like I said, the, those ejections were so weak when I was shooting it one-handed there to start with. So I was a little worried that I'd be able to make the gun malfunction. So shot quite a few rounds out of this gun today. Uh, I think it's a very, very good option for the price range that it falls into. You could spend a little bit more and get some of the better ones, but if you're just not trying to break the bank, you want something to throw inside your house and have it maybe in a certain room or whatever it was, I think you could trust this gun. Uh, I would need to put a few more down drains for myself, but I think overall, it's a pretty darn good gun. Um, the grip on it is very good for managing recoil, especially with the high bore axis. So it does a good job as far as that goes. So I'm, I'm impressed with it. I mean, it's probably one of the best $350 guns I've ever shot. Uh, I have shot a high point before and they're just junk, but this one, this doesn't feel like junk. It doesn't feel like a crappy pistol at all. Uh, Walther is a very good name brand pistol. 
it's not the most aesthetically pleasing gun. In fact, it's, it's pretty darn ugly if you ask me, but overall, I mean, the, the grip angle, it seems odd and seems weird, but when you put it in your hand, it really does melt into it fairly well, very much like the HK VP9. So I can't really complain about that too much. So if you guys like what you saw today, I want you to like the video, drop us a comment and tell us what you think of the Walther Creed and subscribe to our channel.